Oh, it's my pleasure to call on stage uh, Virginia Gardiner of Luwot. It's a very nice project. I met you a couple of years ago, and since uh, then you made a lot of progress. Welcome to EcoSummit. Thank you. <laughs> and here's your kicker. Thanks. Hello, everyone. I'm Virginia Gardner, and I'm proud to be in the toilet business, especially proud because we do sanitation in a different way. Luat is a waterless toilet system that generates energy. And how we do this is we've developed a toilet which packages human waste in biodegradable polymer film for anaerobic digestion, such that the waste and the film can be digested to produce energy and fertilizer. In the chain of sanitation, which you see across the top here, which is how people envision sanitation happening in developing countries, where we fit in is in the first three steps, containment, emptying, and transport, by providing a fantastic toilet experience, which is totally hygienic. The technology is proven and patented. We have tested the toilet extensively in commercial trials in Madagascar and in the United Kingdom. And alongside this technology, we're also able to generate energy and fertilizer because we've been building lab and field digesters since 2011. So we know how to make energy and fertilizer, and we've been developing relationships with leading providers in the industry of anaerobic digestion equipment so that we can do the whole end-to-end -end system. Our vision is to make waterless sanitation safe, sustainable, and profitable. There's truly a global market for our technology. We're starting where the need is greatest. So in the United Kingdom, I think you probably have experienced a chemical portable toilet we can offer a much, much better toilet. In developing countries, we can offer sanitation, which is value generating, when otherwise there might not be any sanitation at all. The markets are different. The value generated from our system are, is different. So you might, in one context, as the portable context on the left, be interested in having a better toilet. Um, the lady you see holding the bucket of water that water came from energy that came from human waste in our Madagascar system. So depending on the context, the value proposition will be different, but the core technology of the toilet is the same. There's a global sanitation crisis. Two and a half billion people, about 40% of the global population, is without access to sanitation. And as a result, waterborne illness kills about 4,000 people every day, mostly children. It ravages economies, it destroys people's lives. We have a solution. This is the toilet that we opened in Madagascar in 2012. It's been serving paying toilet customers with a robust, fantastic experience ever since. Um, the toilet is linked to a micro-digester, which produces enough energy to charge 1,000 mobile phones every single day. We have extensive experience developing business models for our system in which decentralized digestion systems of a whole variety of scales can link value generation to hygienic and high standard sanitation. This year, we'll be rolling out 100 toilets in Madagascar with support from the Gates Foundation grant. Um, these toilets will be in the capital city in Antananarivo, not far from the toilet that you saw earlier. But as you see in the image here, they're designed to be produced and installed more easily. And um, they're also a fantastic product that people really want. The opportunity at festivals and events is fantastic. Everybody wants to see a cleaner and nicer alternative to the chemical recirculating toilet. We rolled out our first festival toilet this summer, Latitude Festival, and then London Design Week, and people were blown away by the experience of our toilet. Please visit our website um, for the testimonials video where you can see people talking about their experience. It's revolutionary. We're also collaborating with water utilities in the UK to ensure that our system can have a really solid link to their anaerobic digestion work so that people who adopt the system, who are in the portable toilet hire market already, can easily adopt our cleaner technology. We started as a university spin-out, and now we're about to roll out the technology in two major markets going commercial in the next two years. This year, we're, we've launched our events and festivals system, which we'll be rolling out further next year. We have a million dollar project underway with the Gates Foundation, and we are working on disaster relief sanitation project, which should be piloting next year. 
please come and talk to me if you're interested in investing or know people who might be. Um, we will be raising funds soon and also in the future. There's a great opportunity to get involved with our business. As I like to say in the waterless toilet business, there are no sinkers or floaters, only deposits. Thanks very much. Super. I like the progress. Well done. Thanks. And uh, you're actually American, right? I am born in New York City. In New York City. Proud to be better than the USA for energy consumption. And how, how <laughs> is it for you to develop the project in the UK? Why do you do it here, not there? I live here. Yeah. Um, I studied at the Royal College of Art, where the idea I first developed. And um, we will be probably expanding into other markets, but I think it's always best to start out at home. Yeah, great. Do you have a question for Virginia? Now is the time. Just curious, what, what's the cost of the toilet? I mean, what's your cost structure in this? Well, the, co the toilet that you saw in the image will come in at 100 US dollars or less. Um, volume production costs are still, we're still working on that. But generally, it's considered that if you want to roll out a technology in sanitation markets in developing countries, if you can get under that limit, then you can create a good model for, um, for expansion. Um, and then when it comes to the UK event system, where you saw the little trailer, the technology, it has basically a insignificant impact, the cost on, in the context of chemical portable toilets and replacing the chemical recirculating, the technology is really basically very affordable. Alexander, you get a microphone very soon. Yes, wonderful. The downstream side, so the collection, the logistics, and the digestion of it, is, is there any you know, specific technology? Is, it, is there any change? How, how, do you, how is that working? You know? that's a, that's a, there's many answers to that question, so I, I hope that I'm answering the right one. Um, because basically, there's, there's a whole system required to support a toilet when you are looking at the urban sanitation model in developing countries. And we will be working with partners who are going to be involved in the treatment side and also probably the collection side. Um, it's more than one business which is involved in actually scaling these technologies. Mm. As for the digestion itself, we have developed technology within the company to enable the digestion of our waste stream and to also optimize the energy outputs of our waste stream. But in terms of actually building that, we're working with a bunch of different commercial partners to build digesters. We have built our own digester in the original pilot for the little toilet you saw with the micro digester. That was basically Luat commissioned, Luat designed, built locally. But um, in the future, we are working with a whole range because basically digestion, as you I'm sure know, can be built at a whole range of scales and in a whole range of technologies and it has to be customized to its location. Alexander. Thank you. Um, I noticed you had the bag hanging down in the toilet. Does that bag need to get taken out and then a new one inserted? And then for a toilet, does there need to be a sort of toilet operator? Great question. The toilet, um, generally speaking, we go for about um, 100 uses between servicings, but it's totally scalable. So that's depending on, again, the context that we're working in. So if a household, for a household toilet model in a developing country city, you might want to have the toilet service twice a week um, or even once a week. Our toilet should be serviced once a week. That's kind of the... Um, the minimum amount of servicing frequency that we recommend. But in the context of a festival or an event, you'll probably want to service the toilet, you know, a couple of times a day, depending on, again, it's very contextual. So the number of users per toilet is specified by the event, by the provider, by the level of service they want to provide. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's really robust. Great, okay. Thank you very much, Virginia. Thank you. I like the project. Thanks. <laughs>